If you suffer from heartburn, there are some simple things you can do that will help manage your levels of stomach acid. Hi, I'm Dr. Frank McGeorge for Prilosec OTC. Today we're going to talk about ways in which you can reduce your heartburn, the fourth video in this series. Now the following suggestions are not universal. Heartburn triggers vary from person to person, so experiment with these suggestions and make a conscious effort to assess how your body feels. Using a diary to track what works and what doesn't can help you figure out the best diet for you. For example, drink water between meals rather than with them. If you consume too much liquid with a meal, it actually increases the volume of stomach contents, which increases your chance of heartburn. Be careful with peppermint, spearmint, and chocolate. They all contain compounds that cause lower esophageal sphincter. That's the muscle that acts like a valve to let food into the stomach to loosen or relax. When that happens, acid in the stomach can flow back up into the esophagus. Also, highly acidic foods like oranges, orange juice, tomatoes, and grapefruits are classic heartburn foods, especially when they're consumed on an empty stomach. You might consider experimenting with stomach cooling juices like papaya, mango, guava, and pear instead of that morning glass of orange juice. Now certain spices like ginger, curry, and parsley all provoke heartburn. Same holds for garlic and raw onions or any food loaded with pepper. So try just a little bit at a time. Alcoholic beverages, wine or beer for example, can trigger heartburn for some people and Caffeinated beverages, coffee, tea, and cola all raise the level of acidity in the stomach, making stomach juices even more irritating if they make their way up into the esophagus. One of the best things you can do to help avoid the wrong foods and drinks is to keep a stash of safe snacks in your home or office. Having healthy foods on hand that you enjoy, like cut up raw vegetables, raisins, or graham crackers, make reaching for those less healthy snacks and beverages less likely. Plus, you don't feel like you're missing out as much. And when it comes to dessert, always try to go light. Heavy desserts tend to be higher in fat, meaning they can induce heartburn. Try sucking on hard candy instead. This triggers the production of saliva, which acts as a natural barrier to acid. Just be sure to avoid mint candies. Also, don't forget that how you eat is just as important as what you eat. Practice portion control because your stomach responds to large portions by producing large amounts of acid. Also, eating slowly and chewing foods thoroughly will not only make you feel fuller, it gives your stomach time to digest and that can decrease the probability of heartburn. Finally, finish eating your last meal of the day at least two to three hours before going to bed. That time will give your acid levels a chance to decrease before you lie down. That's a position in which heartburn is likely to occur. Remember though, the best heartburn protection comes from a combination of diet, health, and lifestyle changes. Now, if you're still suffering from heartburn two or more days per week, you should talk to your doctor about supplementing your diet with a medication. For more ideas, watch our video, What Foods You Should Eat to Reduce Heartburn. I'm Dr. Frank McGeorge for Prilosec OTC.